we're starting to uh, scramble down to Neil's Gap. About a mile down. It's supposed to be like a jungle gym with all the rocks, so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes here. One more view. Come off of Blood Mountain. Absolutely fantastic. All right, so this is the uh, this is how it's going to be the whole mile down to Neil's Gap, from what we've been told. It's a little bit of a gymnastics course with all the rocks and uh, pretty steep going down. So probably won't be doing a lot of filming. And one last overlook before the trek down to Neil's Gap. And into the green tunnel again we go. Wow. Awesome. Would not want to be doing this if it was wet. I feel like a mountain goat. Hi. Hi. A little section of the trail here going towards Neil's Gap. A little wet, not too slippery. It's only about a mile from the top of Blood Mountain down into uh, Neil's Gap, but don't think we've really started much of our descent. We've done, we've been descending. Not quite as rapidly in some spots as I thought, but we're not to the end yet. And it looks like we're starting to go downhill a little quicker at the moment here. So. A little rocky here, huh? Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, this boulder field on the way down, they weren't joking. This is, uh, get my footing here. I don't want to slip. You're not going to face plant down the rocks. I know, Dad. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> okay. 
All right, well, we just came down the side of Blood Mountain towards Neil's Gap, which is around the corner. And you have the rock quarry, and no joke. And uh, we're here at Balanced Rock, which is this cool big rock balanced on top of another rock. Hence the name. Super cool. Yeah, we finally made it to Neil's Gap. I have to say, that was the hardest two and a half to three miles that we've ever done going up and over Blood Mountain and down to Neil's Gap. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, we're feeling good. We've got about six miles for the day so far. We're going to stop and uh, grab lunch and uh, push on from there. This is um, this is Neil's Gap. Here's the famous boot tree. All the hanging boots in the tree. People that have quit when they got there, or so they say. A lot of people quit the Appalachian Trail once they hit Neil's Gap for whatever reason. And uh, so we're going to check out Mountain Crossing store, take lunch, and then continue on. It goes right through the store, right through there, onto the uh, continuation of the trail. All right, we're eating lunch. We're leaving Neil's Gap much, 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 much later than we wanted to. Don't know if we're going to make our 11 miles today, but this is the part that passes through the Neil's Gap building and onto the AT. So away we go, and we'll see how far we get. Well, heading toward Tessnity. Gap, which is five and a half miles from Neil Gap, be making about 11 miles for a day. But problem is, didn't leave Neil's Gap till 4:30 because we didn't get but a late start this morning. So we'll have to uh, see how far we can get unless we decide the night hike. which we might have to. There's no chance of rain. So, uh, good possibility. Might be night hiking in the Tessensee. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Weather's still beautiful right now. I threw this puffy on at Neil Gap because I was uh, a little cold, but I think I'm gonna shut it here real quick. Got moving again and getting warm, so. We'll see, we've got to go up and over this uh, mountain or whatever it is that we're going over to get to Tessensee. So uh, we'll see where it goes. It's a bit of a steep climb. I don't know if you can tell it on camera. It's, uh, it's been all uphill since Neil's Gap. Pretty hike. Just all uphill so far, and rocky. Although not as rocky as coming into Neil's Gap, that's for sure. We're not climbing over boulders. Coming uh, out of Neil's Gap, up the side of Leveland Mountain, now we're going back down. And it is uh, another steep, rocky climb here. Luckily, the little switchbacks. <sighs> But uh, watch your footing. It is still beautiful out. Can't really tell from here with the camera, but we've got some beautiful views to the trees of the mountain ranges. All the way around this panoramic. Every side that we can actually see through the trees is amazing. But uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty rocky. So we're pushing, uh, we're pushing for Tessensee Gap. Um, just don't know if we're going to make it before dark. Haven't decided, depending on how the terrain's going to be, if we're going to try a night hike or not. I wouldn't try something like this, even with the best of headlamps, because uh, this is would be way too brutal with the loose rocks and this climb here.
Uh, just missed a view right there. Can you see that? Wow. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Might have a better view. Oh, here's another one. You can see for hundreds of miles. Couldn't ask for any better weather today. It's uh, it's absolutely beautiful going up and down these mountains here and seeing the views. Some more footage coming down off of Leveland Mountain. It's definitely a slow pace getting down this terrain, but so beautiful. Yep. I hear water down, down away somewhere. Lots of streams around. Well, we just got off the bottom of Leveland Mountain into Swain Gap. And now we're starting up the next one. Yeah, more uphill. Actually, rather be going uphill than those brutal downhills. Pretty nice stretch coming through here where the wind has picked up quite a bit. I would say we're looking at 20-25 uh, mile an hour winds gust right now. And the uh, sky is clear, it's not supposed to be rain tonight. It's just windy. But it feels good. Not gotten too cold yet, so we're we're doing good. Right, we're still pushing on. A little over nine miles so far a day. It wasn't for probably a late start this morning and long lunch and Neil's gap. We already be where we want to be. I believe if we can get to Tesnant it'd be about eleven miles or so. Which won't be bad for the day. With the conditions, time constraints. Um, so right now we're just racing against the clock for daylight. So uh, see how far we can get. Still a beautiful day though. Sun is starting to set. We are going uphill again and uh, it's rocky. So uh, this part's slowing us down a little bit. But uh, like I said, pushing on. See where we go. Um, got Cow Rock Mountains not too far ahead of us and uh, should be some nice views. We are on uh, that at Wolf Laurel Top. This view is like all the others absolutely amazing. And of course coming out of Wolf, off of Wolf Laurel Point what went up must go down. Why does it have to be so rocky? All right so we only made it about 10 miles today. We're stopping at uh, Bullpen Gap, I believe it's called. I'm on my way down to collect water. I show you the campsite, but there's a couple other campers there. I don't want to stick them in the video. Here's the water source here, Bullpen Gap. Got us a little pipe they installed where they do that a lot of places. Catch the water trickle coming down. So I'll fill up my three liter bag. We've already got two liters of the campsite, so we'll have plenty for cooking for tonight and in the morning. And uh, supposed to get down mid to low 40s tonight, so uh, yeah, I want to get camp set up, get some hot coffee, get a good hot meal in us, and uh, get a good night's sleep before temperature drops too far. Alright, trying to finish breaking down camp uh, here at Bag Creek Gap campsite. And uh, Met some new friends, and uh, it is very froggy. cool and foggy and kind of yucky, but uh, yeah, we're chilly. Got every all of our face layers and our puffies on, and our beanies. They yeah, about mid 40s last night, about 40, somewhere between 44 and 46. We'll be headed towards. Hogspen Gap this morning. 
So, uh, for our pickup back to the hostel where our car is parked. All right, see you on the trail. And starting off this morning, going up to Cow Rock Mountain. Mountain goat in it. Up the wet rocky trail. Hey, at least it's not hot and humid. Up, up, up. I'm not saying no stoppy to the toppy. Uh -huh. Not this morning. <laughs> yeah, a little more of the section on the way up to Cow Rock Mountain. Lots of loose slippery rocks. So we gotta take our time. No rush today. Okay, so correction. We are on Green Top Cliff, I believe it's called. Not quite to Cow Rock Mountain. No views because of the fog. But the trail does continue up those rocks and boulders that direction towards the top of Cow Rock. I think there's another view before then, but with the fog, there won't be any today. So. Yeah, this is an interesting little climb here. Uh, kind of a uh, giant rock boulder area. On the way up to actual Cow Rock. I kind of don't think there's going to be cows up there. Uh, doubt it. I'm definitely still going up here. So we're now on uh, Cow Rock on top of the mountain here. And uh, once again, no view. Totally foggy. Kind of stinks. But, uh, would be awesome if it wasn't for the fog. I know it. <laughs> now we're coming off a of cow rock, starting the downhill to Tesnity. And uh, look, it's more rocks. Oh, yeah. Yay. Uh, not supposed to be too bad. It's not supposed to be too far from here, actually. It hasn't he? Wow, wow, wow. This is a no joke down to Tesnity. And it's wet. And it's wet. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Actually, it's supposed to go this way. Some more rock on the way down to test the <sighs> Pretty, just hard on the legs. Almost as much fun as coming out of Blood Mountain and Neil's Gap. Starting to burn off a little bit to our right, can actually start to see some mountains. Watch for our step. So this has been great. I think we're going to probably end at Tesla T because we're kind of on a time crunch 
go visit some family today be at a uh, barbecue for Memorial Day by two o'clock and we gotta get our pickup get back to the hostel get our car loaded drive over to uh, Cleveland Georgia which is gonna be about 30 40 minutes and uh, we're getting it's after 11 o'clock so Probably gonna cut it a little short and not get to hog pen gap, but this has been an absolutely awesome trip. We do it again. I'd love to do another section, do the rest of Georgia. Uh, we'll be doing uh, fiery gizzards and some other trails in Tennessee at the end of the September. And hopefully we'll be having some kayaking trips coming up because it's getting a little too hot in Florida for hiking right now. So Florida hikers during the summertime are called kayakers. So you'll see some of that too. But uh, all right, well, I'm gonna pay attention to this, this rockiness on the way down here. Make it down to where we're going safely. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's 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 rocky <laughs> that's all i can say about georgia it's rocky at least this section so we'll see you down when we get to the gap so i hope you enjoyed our uh trip from woody gap to tessity gap um might have been super exciting and might want to come across on camera as steep cranky. and rocky and <laughs> cranky. We cranky we were cranky i was, I was cran not cranky i was cranky a he couple was cranky. times but uh got through the rain, got through all the mess, got through over all the rocks and the big ups and downs. We hiked over the highest mountain in Georgia. Parasiting. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so this is where it ends and uh, definitely not where our adventures end. So stay tuned. More to come. Thanks for coming along for this ride. Stay tuned. Stay tuned and see you again outside.